The Killing of Philandro Castile. One of the most disgusting things I've ever seen. And, you know, it's right after I make a video about uh, Black Lives Matter and how they so often focus on uh, those who were criminals. Oh, we th these criminals were treated so poorly. Well, this was not one of those cases at all. I'm sort of thinking to myself, I wonder when uh, uh, or if uh, live life will uh, tackle this subject and somehow turn it around to be the fault of the people who are in the car. Maybe he can repeat uh, they didn't comply over and over again or something on that order, right? Now, now in my last video in regards to the uh, Black Lives Matter and victims and, and violence, I had said we should be focusing the most on just police brutality in general. But when I see something like this, it really does give me a stark reminder of how black people are treated so radically different than everyone else. Black person has a gun. Oh, the black person has a gun! White person has a gun. Oh, uh, do you have a license for that? You know. This is an incident that Black Lives Matter should be focusing on. This is a very good example of the shit that they talk about. This, when I saw that four-year-old saying, I'm with you, what was that? I'm with you, mommy. I'm with you. Uh, uh, it wasn't mommy. It was just, I'm, I'm with you. I, I, I cried. I, I couldn't stop crying. It probably took me like 10 minutes to stop crying. And it's, it's almost unbelievable. It's almost inconceivable that police officers are this cold just because someone's black. And I say officers because there were a lot of officers there. This wasn't just one person. This is other officers giving support to this person who just shot someone in cold blood. I, I'm just still kind of in disbelief. It makes me wonder whether or not we should push for officers to no longer be armed, since they're obviously not trained worth shit on how to de-escalate a situation. And people will, will say so often, well, officers put their lives on the line. Not when they act like that. They're putting everyone else's lives on the line, not their own. If you have a badge, if you have an officer's badge, if you have been granted that privilege, you shouldn't be abusing it like that. And you shouldn't use it to put everyone else's lives on the line but your own. That's not how that's supposed to work. There is no fucking excuse for the way that the, that officer acted. And no excuse for the ways that any of the rest of the officers acted. No excuse. No excuse at all. No fucking excuse. And if that officer gets let off the hook for doing that, 
We deserve riots. We deserve riots. We deserve looting. We deserve to have some serious shit happen. Because there is no excuse for the way that that officer acted. And no excuse for the way that none of the other officers went to try to help. They didn't try to get the per they didn't try to get Philandro any sort of of medical attention, nothing. Not a damn thing. And they do all this shit in front of a goddamn 4-year-old who's going to be damaged for life because of this. No excuse. Absolutely no fucking excuse. They better find that officer guilty. And not just some little slap on the wrist shit. That officer should go to prison. That's what should happen. It's probably not going to happen. And he'll probably be let off. And we'll deserve the rioting. We'll deserve the discontent. We'll deserve the violence that comes out of it. We will deserve it if justice is not served. That's all I've got to say about that.